Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 12 of the Photoshop tutorial series. So today we're going to learn about grids, guides and settings. So now uh, whenever you design something, you simply get a blank canvas over here and usually you don't have a guideline on uh, how you're, you, you're supposed to actually design. So in order to uh, like create a guide, what I can do is I can go to view, view over here and turn on rulers. So once I turn on rule, rulers, you also have to make sure that you actually uh, go to view and inside the show, you see that there is, you, you see that there is, inside show, there's uh, smart guides. So what the guides enable you to do is you can, so you see the rulers over here, you can also bring that up by pressing control R in your keyboard, so press control R, simply drag out the guides so that you can have guidelines for your design. So for example, what I can do now is I can use this guideline as a design for some of my things. Let's say I want my name over here. So I can just simply drag it and you can see it actually snaps to that area and you can create a shape just like that uh, by creating the guideline. So I can simply drag out another one. So if I were to create another shape just right here, and you can see that it actually snaps up right there. So this is actually useful if you want to design proportionately uh, with proper size in mind. So this is how you use the guides uh, inside of Photoshop. So if you want to disable the guides, just go to view and to show and then simply disable the guides and you can see that it's not there anymore. Or you can press the shortcut key as well. So if you have to go to show and you can see that the guides, you can press the control uh, semicolon is there so just press it uh, sorry that's the grid we're going to talk about in that while so in the guides you can see that you can re-enable and disable the guides just like that so over here let me just disable uh, the guides okay let me disable these as well so now what we can do is uh, you can also work with grid so for example if you want to go and show grid you can see that you get a graph paper like setting right here. So even this grid allows you to actually snap objects onto it and you can even turn the snap off here actually. So right now inside view the snap is on that's why it is actually being snapped to the grid which I prefer for designs but if I turn off the snap then it does not actually snap to the edges as you can see over here. So this does not actually snap and over here if we go, were to go to view and turn on snap then now uh, the snap is actually turned on. You can see that it actually snaps to the grid itself just like that. All right, so go to view, go to snap, uh, snap to, and inside of snap to, you can see that you have this. You have the grid, layers, and document slab, a document bounce right there. So you can actually choose what you want um, the object to snap to right there from the uh, option. So you can even change the grid size actually. So for that, what we can do, do is we can go to edit and inside of edit, if you are using a Mac, then you should go to Photoshop and then preferences. And since I'm using Windows, I'm gonna go to edit. And then inside of edit, there's preferences. And inside there, there's something called grids, guides, and slices. So you can choose the color of the uh, guides over here right now. Like I uh, sign was selected, I can select light green. So if I were to show the guides right now, you can see that my guidelines are red now. So this is totally color preference. You can even enable dash lines if you prefer dash lines instead of straight lines. I prefer lines because it is much more visible. And even the guides, smart guides and everything, you can choose the color over here. Even the uh, grid, you can choose the color. So let's say for example, green, you can choose the color. Uh, you can change the units to pixels if you want to. So let's say I want a uh, grid line every 20 pixels and subdivision every uh, 20 pixels again. And you can see that there's division and subdivision uh, going on right there, uh, just like that. So you can change the units and the snapping affects uh, the design canvas accordingly. So this is something you can use for designing uh, proportionate uh, items, uh, proportionate graphics. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.